Uh, before we get into the last segment of questions, uh, we just want to jump in and um, do specifically what we do on the JJM podcast is we have somebody be able to send in a video of them rolling. It's called Review My Roll, and we also have the ability for them to send us a video on a website, and we send one back with a qualified black belt uh, reviewing their role. So we have a guest today here. Uh, he's a blue belt here at Hampton Jiu-Jitsu. We have a little clip of him rolling and we're just going to uh, bring it up. And if you guys can, while you see the video, just shout out different things. Now remember, this is just a sport, sportive jujitsu. Uh, once again, sport BJJ aspect of uh, rolling. But uh, we'll fast forward through this video. We have Chet on the line now. And uh, so Chet is Hi guys. Guy. Big honor for me. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, so Chet's going to be on the bottom right here. We're just doing a roll. So there's, there's no strikes, Professor Valente. I know there's no, uh, there's no strikes in this one. <laughs> We're just uh, doing regular sport jiu-jitsu. <laughs> it's a little, some little roll here with uh, a few of the guys here at Hampton Jiu-Jitsu. Nice little butterfly guard sweep. Let's see. Trying to smash a la Robert Drysdale here. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, he's going yeah. for a choke. Got to turtle up. <laughs> Got the oh, south. Yeah. yeah. Got to fall out a little bit more. Yeah, I really like pushing the, the rib cage into the head there to create pressure. Like a sandwich effect between the rib cage and the head. Hips very low. Yeah, it does seem like his hips are very high. <laughs> he didn't sprawl out enough on that. <clears throat> You get caught in the half guard there. Not completely, right? The foot's still out. Yeah. Yeah, you put the knee in. You want to get caught in the lockdown. Yeah, the lockdown, the lockdown was used a lot by the Japanese. Um, when you look at the Kozen videos, the lockdown was used a lot back then. Even like, uh, even like the lockdown you see, like uh, Eddie Bravo style, like that same, kind of same way. Same hook, same hook, same. Wow. Exact. Wow. Actually, I actually like lockdown with that sweep underneath. Yeah. You know, where you get the lockdown, and then you bring your other arm on the other side of the mm. and sweep them. See the way you're positioning yourself there from side control is the classic way that the Grace is always taught with that elbow on the ground on the other side and the hand blocking the hip, walking towards north south. That's the classic Gracie way to control. I'm talking about the, the positioning of the arms. Mm -hmm. I saw you use it before and you're using it again now. When you set up that north-south choke, you were using it. Attacking the leg. Oh, you might lose that. You might come on top. Now, if it's point system, you might get two scored on you, but let's see. And Robert, do you prefer the IBJJF rules or the uh, ABCC style rules? Oh, you're on mute, Robert. You're on mute. <clears throat> I, I like the IBJJF rules, but I'd probably make some minor changes that would improve on them. I think some things while these two are better. I like the reverse of the reverse. Yeah. Uh, but the whole thing, total position, I mean, it's like a mess. Like, it's yeah. Very, it makes it very, very messy. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's no perfect move. Yet. The better it always is, by the way. Mm. Uh, for the purpose of Chad here, Chad, like, you know, it's a really good position, but I feel like you don't, you're, you're either impatient or you're not seeing what's he's giving you, but he's giving you a lot and I think with consistent pressure you could probably get more, like right there, like you have a head and arm, you have an Ezekiel, you have an arm bar you have a back take, mm -hmm. but like you see you're on your knees, you should be uh -huh. digging your toes the whole time, leaning on that arm, and that's gonna, here's the thing, by making that, now you got it, by making someone uncomfortable, you're gonna get them to make a lot more mistakes, so like mm -hmm. the whole thing, you're on the whole time you're on top 
you're not looking for submissions. You're looking to make them miserable. And if you make them miserable, they're going to give you all sorts of free stuff. Right. And do I have to worry about my hips at all? Just, uh, just driving I, that pressure down? Your knees. Like one of my rule of thumbs when I'm teaching is if you're on top, your knees can touch the ground. They should never sit on the ground. Both okay. For the whole time. So you're shifting your weight to your upper body the entire time you're on top. And just uh, like grind into them? The whole time. The whole time. Because that right there Got has it. a effect on your opponent the other yeah. thing i'd watch out for is like right in the beginning there when he went on top of you uh you let him grab your head big no no never let him grab the head that's mm, like got it. That's the anchor that's the beginning of the end right you got right. a part of the head as much as you got a shrimp they're equally important Awesome. Well, we appreciate that. And uh, that's officially the first review my role on uh, Jiu Jitsu Motivation. Thanks for submitting that video, Chet. Yeah, no, thank you. It's a huge honor for me. Appreciate Thanks. it, guys. Thanks All for right. joining us. Thanks, Chet. buddy. Bye-bye. Take care.